Even Russians can wrestle. Trust me. I wrestled a lot of Russians. Man. They were tough. Tough. This, because they were pushed so hard as kids. It was like military. It was USSR. Military. Soldiers. And they weeded out. Some kids went back home to their parents. And the good ones got coaching, teaching, and food. And we had to go out and wrestle these guys. Wow. Mm. They were badasses in wrestling and they were badasses in fighting. Top of my head, Igor Volchanchin and the great Fedor. When Fedor was in his prime and focusing on fighting. Wow. Whew. He got me twice, but I'm saying I watched him get a lot of people. And it was so cool because he said, uh, you know, he said he grew up watching me, you know. I'm old. He grew up watching me and he's gonna, his style is gonna be my style, ground and pound. Only he took it to a new level and when Fedor was in his prime, jeez, oh man. He smashed people. Yeah. You know, he's still fighting and he's still dangerous, very dangerous because the punches he throws, you ask me my favorite combination, I don't have no favorite combination, but Fedor does, and that means he throws from every direction. And my second fight with him, yeah, he, he hit me like six times in like a three second span. <laughs> he landed every one of them because I didn't see none of them coming. He could throw from all directions. I love him. But, you know, I don't know, the, you know, they say this is the most dangerous part of your body as a fighter, this chin. You know, it can, uh, some have a super strong chin and some chins, they say you'll lose your chin. I don't know if that's real or not, but it seems like it.